Welcome, everyone, and welcome back to Yield Source Weekly Harvest. I'm about to show you something. Most viewers are not aware that I only use three gallon pots. So this week we're going to go over a few things to show you how to maximize that three gallon. Whether you're growing photos or autos, you're going to get five to six foot plants easy. I created a how to grow guide. It's in the description. Download it. It's free. It shows you exactly what line of nutrients I use and how to use it. Okay, firstly, we're doing a cocoa perlite mix, 70-30. If you're running autos, you want to drop your seeds directly into the medium. No transplant. For photo period cannabis, you can drop clones or seeds whenever you're ready. In the first week of growth, while the seedling is still in the dome, I try to focus on root stimulation by adding a root start to the medium. As you can see, the plants start in a three gallon and they get huge. It's been fun testing my method with strains that typically grow only two to three feet. And they're way bigger when I grow them. This thing is tied up like crazy. It's also chop chop week for this red skunk. And I have to tell you, I'm not too excited about this plant after it's finished growing. It literally smells like purple grapes from the supermarket. So all I can do is try to preserve those terpenes. I hope it smells good. After hanging long enough for those twigs to snap, it'll hit final trim like that tropical fritter from last week. We got nephew over in trim jail right now. Let's go see. Blackberry Auto is ready to come down too. In the next one or two days, we'll be getting the old chop chop. Although it's fun to experiment, I do want consistency in my grows. So during these hot summer months, we're gonna switch the photo. I find that autos grow way better in colder temperatures. And by grow, I mean bud density. And it's more colorful, it just looks like a better plant overall. And as you should know, photos can tolerate some heat. They love it. And as far as photos go, my buddy John from the Organic Grow Channel said I should throw some blue dream in the dirt. Well, most seed banks have a minimum seed purchase, so what else should I add to this cart? Now, I found a mystery seed at home and I threw it in my paludarium. I've been posting pictures of it on Instagram. Shoot over and check it out. I have a fully bioactive land over water paludarium. I planted the mystery seed in a starter cup. The roots grew out that cup through the soil into the water where the fish are. <laughs> Dude, it's dope. Check it out. I believe that seed isn't much of a mystery anymore. It kind of smells like a strain I had that I really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut clones and drop them in a the veg tent. If all is well, I will take one of those clones and start a mother plant. And photo periods will not stop the weekly harvest. I'm still going to show you how to harvest photos every week. For more awesome tips on your grow room, click this video here. If you fill in the channel and you like the content, click in with me. And as usual, until next time, smoke one for me.